breakfast before we leave. Grits and eggs. The grits are still cooking. I just put some fries, onions, and bell pepper on the stove. And a little bit of salt. The eggs is done. I forgot to record it. Turn it down a little bit. Your nuggets just came out the microwave. I want to push them up a little bit so we got it on the stove. And these are chicken, sausages, eggs, um, potatoes, and cheesy grits. And my son got beef sausage on his. It's the only difference. So you guys remember this tea from my last full pantry haul? It is pure leaf mango hibiscus and it's unsweeted. So I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm going to put it inside my pitcher I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add some lemon juice and sugar. I'm starting to pour the tea inside the pitcher and this tea smells absolutely delicious. It's just kind of bitter because it don't have any sweetener in it, but it smells awesome. I need about four, four or five. And then top filling the kitchen. No worries, the special save the day. So maybe four and a half, three and a half, four, three and a half. Three and a half. I just realized that I don't have any lemon juice or lemon, so I'm just going to use sugar. I'm going to use my spoon to put the sugar in the kitchen. I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to put in here because I don't need a lot of sugar. Well, with some fresh lemon. Give it a taste. Ooh, that is good. Absolutely good. So if you go to the food pantry and they give you a whole bunch of tea because no one want no one wanted, please don't throw it away. Just accept it and add sugar. Because I know a lot of people was talking about they gonna throw it away. And I told them they can give it to me. So I have two other containers right here that I got from other people who decided to, that they was gonna throw it away because it was unsweetened. But this is some excellent tea, you guys. If you can get this and just add your own sugar, natural sweetener, you know, just get it and put your own sweetener in it. Do not throw these away. Another idea is you can put it and you could put the tea right back into the bottles 
when you go out, when me and my children go out, I pack lunch for we won't be tempted to eat out. Of course, they will love to eat out and I will as well, but we're saving money for our plates, so eating out right now is not the best choice for us. So you could just put it back into the bottles and put it in your lunch box. Good morning, you guys. My children and I are going to the pantry to get some food. Mm, it's pretty. Hey guys, we are back with the food. It was so much that we had to get the push cart to bring it up to the room. And we're gonna take everything out the box and show you guys. My first item in here is whole milk. And then my second item is Oscar Mayer smoked ham and salami. These two particular items I don't use. I don't eat any pork. I don't eat anything with pork in it. So, and I don't drink whole milk. So I will be giving these two items away. I don't know if I'll be giving away the ham because the pork because um, I don't believe in eating it. And I feel guilty sometimes. Most time I throw it away when I get it from the food pantry, but I, feel guilty that someone can use it. I know someone that can use food and they don't necessarily um, meet the qualifications for food stamps or going to the pantry and I will give it to them because I know they need some food and they are family with a lot, a lot of children. So um, what do you guys, do you, do you think it's wrong to give the pork away? For, you, for those of you that don't believe in eating pork, do you feel that giving it away is wrong to a family in need? Well, anyway, um, I know a family that really need these two, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to them. Salted butter. The next item is lean fat ground beef. Next I have diced chicken. It's a huge bag of diced chicken. Have a bag of boneless breast chunks. So boneless breast. Next, let's see what's in the box. Have Nestle Toll House white chocolate. Oh, okay, looks good. I have gluten-free original cheese puffs. This looks so good. Alfredo pasta in natural artificial flavor. Alfredo sauce dinner mix. That looks so good. I don't know if it has meat in here. I don't think it has meat in here, but the diced meat over here can go with the Alfredo sauce. That'd be good. Next, we have two huge buns. They look like the hamburger buns. Mm. 
Next we have Fruit Crunch Parfait, Pineapple Coconuts. Looks good. I'm sure one of the kids will love that. This is just a box full of food. It's in no particular order, you guys. They give you snacks for the, the kitties, the kiddos. And they have some Twiddlers. Also, we have Duncan Hines chocolate chip, perfect size for one. I did another video on this on there. Um, you guys can check it out. I'll leave the video at the bottom. I did a review on their, um, I forgot what flavor that was. I think it was a cinnamon cake, coffee cake. But yeah, I'd like to try this out. I have another Alfredo noodle pack. And for the kiddos, I have some fruit roll-ups. They will love that. I like the fact that um, this particular pantry includes healthy snacks. I have Angie's Bone Chica Pop Popcorn White Cheddar. I have another Duncan Hines. I have Clubhouse Crackers. Here I have Cliff Energy Granola with white chocolate and macadamia nuts. Here I have two Thinsters Cookie Thins and Vanilla beans. The flavor is vanilla beans. Next is instant mashed potato flakes of Y egg noodles with all natural ingredients. We have Sun Tree dry fruit and nut mix. Left way brown rice. Next, I have Premier Pantry macaroni and cheese. Next, we have Mox Fruit Snacks. Next, we have six Cliff Bars, Carmel Tofi with sea salt. Interesting. Next, I have two cups of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Next, we have one box of Coco Crisp from Kellogg's. Next, we have Sun Made Raisins. Next, we have Grits. Taco Bell Shells in its clear container. Next, we have, what is that? Windmill Instant Oatmeal, Maple and Brown Sugar. Each of these, these are staple. Each one has five individual packs. So all together is 10 packs. Two cans of black beans. This your peanut butter. We have one can of Chef Bar Deep Mac and Cheese. And, disgust <laughs> and as disgusting as this sounds to me, my son loves this. He just adds some salt and pepper and he says it tastes really good. We also have seasoned pinto beans and one thing of tomatoes with roasted garlic. And I also have Brookside um, yogurt flavored fruit nut bar. No GMO, gluten free, made with real fruit. Okay, I like this. You guys, this is what I'm really excited about. I love coconut water. This is Vita Coco Coconut Water. And I have four bottles. Let me see the size. They are 16.9 ounces. 
okay you guys this is the end of my haul i hope you enjoyed it's not organized we are rushing we have to get out of here and go to the high school so hope you enjoyed